trip overseas that has become an international sideshow and possibly hurting the attempt to free an American held captive. Dennis Rodman in North Korea. Today he's saying happy birthday to the country's brutal dictator. Here's ABC's Bob Woodruff with a family asking for help. Happy birthday to you. Birthday serenades rarely draw international criticism unless you're Dennis Rodman singing to the dictator Kim Jong-un. Rodman's present bringing a team of ex-NBA players for a game. And this is for his birthday. This is his gift. I love the guy. The guy is my friend forever and ever and ever. This is Rodman's third trip to North Korea, but this time his so-called basketball diplomacy is getting people angry back home. It's because of his comments yesterday on CNN attacking Kenneth Bay, an American missionary held prisoner in North Korea for 14 months. Do you understand what he did? What did he do? You in tell this me. Country. You tell me. What did he do? And, and no, 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 no. You tell me. You tell me. Why is he held captive? Today, Bay's sister told us she's furious. He is certainly not in any kind of position to pass judgment on Kenneth Bay. Um, he's uninformed and it's just outrageous. As a missionary, Kenneth Bay brought tour groups to North Korea. He was arrested for alleged crimes against the state but there are no details beyond that. When we traveled there, Kim Jong-un's forces kept us tightly controlled. What's that? Don't, don't move here and there. Not have to stay within yeah, five yeah, feet yeah, of each other? Yeah. So strangely, Dennis Rodman is the closest American to the dictator. Now, Kenneth Bay's sister also told me today that she once thought that Rodman would actually help her brother. She called his agent today, but she has not gotten any word back from them at all. An anguished family. Thank you, Bob yeah. Woodruff.